Hello and welcome to the 58th video in this series programming a chess engine in C. So in this video we're going to finally implement the search position and we're one video away from the milestone of having the I alpha beta written. So this search position is actually quite simple. All this does is implement what's called the iterative deepening. And just to reiterate what, what iterative deepening is, we basically say for depth equals 1 to max depth and for each of these depths we then search with alpha beta and then we go round again and the uh, what happens is is this allows a couple of things one is obviously it allows the time management to be very good because you can say okay I've searched the depth one have I got time left to search the depth two? Yes. And keep going and keep iterating around until your time runs out. As I explained in the previous video, say you said, I'm just going to search straight off to depth, I don't know, eight. Well, you might not finish searching to that depth, so I won't have a best move returned for the position by the time your time runs out. So here you can keep going deeper, 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 and deeper until you've used up all your time. And I think I mentioned in the previous video, but I'm not sure. You... You might think though that it's inefficient to, for example, if you want, to, if you end up searching to depth eight, that you've searched one to seven first. Why didn't you just start with eight? Well, actually, this method of what's called iterative deepening, which is to search from depth one and then get deeper and deeper, looping round and round and round, is I'll just put here next depth, is actually more efficient than just searching straight away to a certain depth because at the end of each depth you've got a couple of things. One is you've got your principal variation, so the best line that you found, say, well, that you found on the previous depth, and you use this principal variation inside alpha beta then to play, hopefully, what's already the ultimate line for the new depth. And as I've explained already, alpha beta's move ordering, move ordering critical. So the information that you hold from your principal variation and also in your search history heuristic and your killer heuristics from the previous iterations improves massively the mover ordering and therefore improves massively the performance of your alpha beta function so you actually end up searching far fewer nodes going iteratively through the depths rather than just searching to a specified depth straight away so benefits move ordering and time management massively outweigh trying to guess at the start what depth you're going to be able to search to and then plowing brute force through that tree with no good move ordering information so how do we do then iterative deepening? Well, it shouldn't be too, uh, I'll just spell it out here, it shouldn't be too uh, difficult now to imagine exactly how it works. Before we do it, we need to set up some variables for the start of the function, which I'm doing here. So at the end of each loop, iterative deepening loop, we'll get our best move from our principal variation array and we'll store our score from that loop. So if in the following loop we don't have time to complete it and we break out early, then we simply return our best move and best score from the previous completed depth. Current depth is used in the loop and the PV moves and PV num are exactly the same as the code that's in vice.c where we print out our PV line. PV moves is just substituted for max, but these are just used to print our PV line because at the end of every depth we search we will then print out the current best line with the current best score and obviously once we've defined our variables for this function call our first function and clear the search ready to go so now the iterative deeping loop itself and pretty simple stuff if you manage to follow along to what I was saying so far who have explained it okay but essentially all we're doing is we're saying for the current depth equals one we start at depth 1, less than or equal to whatever depth has been specified in our search information, plus plus current depth. So this is the iterative deepening, loop through each depth, and then in here we will score, get the score from calling our alpha beta function. And remember that, I'll just put the comment here, just here we've got alpha and here we've got beta. So alpha starts as minus infinite and beta plus infinite, I hope you remember from if you watched the alpha beta, alpha beta video. The current depth we're searching to, the position, the info, and this is to do with null move, which will come quite a bit later on in this series. 
So it's actually fairly simple. And now this just goes round and round and round and round until we run out of time. What we will do though is at the end of this each loop we've got the score but we also need to get our best variation, our principal variation, which we'll do using this line here which you've seen before in vice.c when we played around with it a couple of videos ago. And we'll set our best move equal to the first move in that variation because of course that's the best move in the current position. What we'll then do is print this information to the screen so we can see what the computer is thinking about things. So we'll print the depth, the score, the best move found, and we'll also print the number of nodes searched. Leave a space here. And the last thing we need to do now is print the principal variation on the end using exactly the same code that was used in vice.c. So there's absolutely nothing new here at all. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So say we search for depth 1, we get our best score for depth 1. We'll have one PV move. This move will be at index 0 in the array, will be the best move. We'll then print depth 1, score, whatever the score was, whatever this best move was here, the number of positions we searched, and then we'll get the PV line exactly as we did in Vice. And finished. That's all there is to it. So that's the iterative deepening, sorry, already completed and implemented. Obviously, there it's very skeleton. There are some things missing. We don't have anything, for instance, here after alpha beta to say out of time, because that means if we came, if stopped was set somewhere in the in the depth that was searched for alpha beta, then it means that we didn't complete the depth. So we need here to then return our best move and score and not reset those from what we've just searched because we broke off in the middle of the tree but we'll do all that at a, a, la a later time. For now it's simply sufficient to have the iterative deepening implemented in this way and in the next video we can finally get around to writing the code that's in the alpha beta function. So I hope that made some sense and I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually we're on video 58 here aren't we so I'm just going to go to 58 and type make and see how many errors have appeared. None. Good. Okay. So that's it then for this video, and thanks very much for watching, and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.